Tagovailoa off the field. So how confident are the Dolphins with their number one as QB1? Marcel Louis Jacques has more. Entering his fourth professional season, Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungo Bailoa has proved one thing. It's not his ability that's in question, it's his availability if he's to become their franchise cornerstone. The NFL's 2022 leader in passer rating is no doubt talented enough for the role. Don't believe he's at any higher risk for concussions moving forward than he was prior to this season. Yes, his health is of primary importance, but I'd be a, a fool to not embrace him when he's healthy. Two will be Miami's starting quarterback in 2023. Whether or not he gets through it unscathed will likely determine just how long he keeps that title. If he can't stay healthy, the Dolphins will again be looking for their first franchise quarterback since Dan Marino retired in 1999. We have seen flashes of brilliance from Tua. We see flashes of greatness from these two Dolphins. Would you invest your future with Tua long term as the franchise quarterback? go ahead and answer that by saying I would exercise his fifth year option for sure. You're talking about a $23 million number that is more than a bargain for a starting quarterback in the NFL right now, and you lock him down for two more years. Here's the thing. Two approved a lot of his haters wrong going into the year by leading the NFL in passer rating. Yes, he had a better passer rating at 105.5 than Patrick Mahomes. He proved that if you give him protection up front, that he will stand in the pocket and can deliver on the money. He proved that if you give him weapons on the outside like Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, that he can go out and put the money on the money, put the ball on the money whenever he needs to and throw the ball successfully down the field. Now, he threw uh, a a personal record in, in yards and touchdown passes despite only playing in 13 games. But as that piece just stated, that's the problem right now with Tua. He hasn't played a full 16 or 17 game season. And the really scary part is the head injuries yep. that he's had to deal with, especially last year. You don't want to put him in a situation where he has another one or two of those next season and it's starting to affect his life after football. Got so quarterback right now. I don't want to talk about him anymore. I want to know what else the Dolphins need to do to keep up with that ever-competitive AFC East? Matt, it's about developing the run game and with this football team and making it a more of a primary component of their offense and not just a supporting part of their offense. But they, you cannot, like, I think when you're talking about Tua in particular here and then you're talking about what else they need to do, the, really the development and the efficiency of the run game is only going to help Tua in terms of him not being in harm's way, not having the drop back, but being able to just turn around and hand the football off to what should be a very dynamic, explosive running offense. They averaged less than 100 yards per game last year. They averaged just over four yards per carry. They're one of the worst teams in the NFL in average number of carries, gaining four-plus yards. That's just not good enough, especially from a Mike McDaniel coached offense, considering what his pedigree is and where he came from. So just think about it like this. Think about it in terms of like what Philadelphia can do with Jalen Hurts outside of Jalen Hurts running the football. When they want to turn around and hand the football off and just take pressure off of him, they can do that because they've invested in their offensive line. They will commit to continuing to run the football, getting their offense in a groove, and then everything for Jalen as far as the passing game is concerned opens up off of that. He doesn't even, really, quite honestly, I mean, he's throwing the people – who are wide open simply because they're getting one-on-ones and their guys are better than the defensive backs. You can't tell me that Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle can't beat any defensive back in the, in the NFL one-on-one off of play action or when a team has to play the run and the pass. It will help Tua. It will help this football team. It will help the defense because maybe then they will t- possess the ball even longer because now they're eating up some clock as well. So there's a lot of secondary benefits to them really putting an emphasis on being more efficient, and being more consistent with the running game. All the Dolphins have to do on draft night is call the name of Tajay Spears, and everything will be handled. There it is. Especially, I mean, there it is right there. That's all you have to do, and we just solved the problems right here in sports. And by the way, that was free for you, the Dolphins. Guys, thank you. <laughs> you bet. Coming up as new details emerge in the fatal shooting involving a former Alabama.